starting today is we are doing 75, 75 hard. type of day where I do sprints, agility, shuffles, uh, different things like that. Luckily, I always walk into the basketball gym to see if there is basketball so I can shoot a couple shots or if I can play some one-on-one. -on -one. I, like I like to get down to some basketball. But they got a basketball, I'm gonna shoot a couple shots and then get to the workout. All right, peace. <laughs> favorite people in the world is Jerry. Jerry. Good, my boy. I'm about to beat Jerry one-on-one -on -one real fast. <laughs> if he wants to play me. If he doesn't want to play me, I can't play him. Hey, you know, I, hey, I ain't ducking no smoke. I ain't ducking no smoke. Listen, I beat Jerry, I beat Jerry like 90% of the time and he just threw the ball at me. So I'm about to really, really whoop him right now. And by the way, I haven't did half my workout, but it's all good. You just gotta show up, that's half the battle. Oh my goodness, Jerry. Beat the dog. I'm not gonna say the other word. He, he, beat, he beat me bad. Yeah, that was fun though. Um, I think the theme, be a student. You know what I mean? Don't think you know everything. I don't, I, I didn't grow up playing basketball. And I did grow up playing basketball a lot. But I didn't play, I stopped playing basketball in middle school and Jerry's been playing all his life. What, what college did you play at, Jerry? Uh, East Central University. Started off at Fort Scott Community College. Had to do a good Juco grind and get yeah. up out of there. Made it to ECU for two years. Yeah. Graduated up out of there. So. And then Jerry actually comes from a basketball family. Yep. His uh, he has three brothers. Two brothers, two older brothers. He has th he he's three. It's three of them. <laughs> it's him and two other brothers. <laughs> I, I, we me and Jerry have been knowing each other for a while. I, 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 I can't believe I got that one wrong. It's all good. You didn't really get it wrong. I mean, three. It's three brothers in the family. Three brothers in the family. And do you have any sisters? No sisters. Okay. But his brother is playing, one of his brothers is playing overseas. Yeah. They both play or one? Uh, so the oldest one is still playing in Germany. Uh, he played in Georgia, Luxembourg, and Italy. Uh -huh. And then the middle brother, he's now coaching at Ferris State University. It's okay. two in, uh, in Big Rapids, Michigan. Okay, he okay. Played, he played two years. He played in Slovakia, and then he played in, um, uh, where was he? Then in, in Cyprus. Okay, in okay. Cyprus. Jerry came from a long line of hoopers and you know what's so crazy is jerry's the shortest one no he's not a lot a lot I, once again jerry is, is, is the, 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 he's the next tallest his the oldest one is the shortest then jerry and then uh his older brothers like what's how's your husband the middle one is he's six six he's six six so the height just kind of fluctuated through through all of them all but i think the thing for today is man just stay a student have a white belt mentality don't think you know everything and uh Put yourself in a position where you have to grow because I've never did five minutes of straight shooting and all that. I was tired, so that's fine. <laughs> We are back. I'm finally back home after my workout. Earlier today, I talked about being a student of the game. You know, being a lifelong learner. School is merely the beginning, not 
the end. So every year, um, every day, I'm always trying to push myself, man. I can learn from a five-year-old. I can learn from a 10-year-old. I can learn from someone my age or older. I'm always trying to learn. And I think that's something that you know every student, every adult can embrace is just being a life long learner or in jujitsu they say uh be a white belt always have a white belt mentality because in a white belt everything's new so you're always trying to just pick up different information from this person and that person and this person and that person and so even as a black belt which is the highest level always have a white belt mentality so what I'm doing to continue my uh journey on just being a lifelong learner I'm doing something special 75 hard Okay, so Okay, so one part is you have to drink one gallon of water each day. Not only do you we need to drink a gallon of water, you have to read ten pages of a book every single day. Ten pages of a book. Um it has to be like a self help book or something like that. So what book I'm deciding to read is T D Jake's Maximize the moment god's action plan for your life okay so the next part is you need to follow a diet for 75 days you have to follow a diet for 75 days and i need to go grocery shopping so not only do we need to drink water a gallon of water read 10 pages but you have to follow a diet for 75 days Okay, so not only do we need to drink a gallon of water, have a diet, read 10 pages of a book, but you have to do two workouts, two 45 minute workouts to be exact. <laughs> pages of a book a diet two workouts but the thing is two 45 minute workouts but the thing is one has to be outside and one has to be inside and the reason why i have failed so many times is because one a lack of discipline with my diet I forget about reading the book and i travel a lot I'm blessed with the opportunity to be able to speak to so many students, um, adults, programs, athletes, all those different things right there that I don't prioritize getting up early enough to get the workout in. And when I travel late, layovers and things like that, I don't push myself to get that second workout in. So I'm dedicating myself to not only doing the 75 hard, but I'm going to turn it up another level. I'm going to do a cold shower every morning for one minute. And I'm going to commit to posting a video every day for 75 days on my YouTube channel. I think it's so important that we feed ourselves positivity. Um, we have two beasts inside of us, a positive beast and a negative beast. And the one that we feed the most will win the battle. So what are we watching? What are we listening to? You know, what are we putting in our bodies and how are we speaking? I want to be a, a, a person that spreads positivity to my students, to the adults that I speak to, and just to the world. So I'm excited to get this journey started. Let me finish this workout. Peace. Look how beautiful that sunrise is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, you! Don't watch that! Watch this! This is the heavy, heavy monster sound! <laughs> 